Hello my subscribers and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays. And today, as you can see on screen, version 9.6, I don't know if we've got much version it was in, 9.6 is out. Got this bright today. You can actually go straight onto Steam, reboot your game, and lo and behold, version 9.6 is out now. You may want to go into your Steam folder and delete the app data. Uh, sometimes it doesn't update or there can be problems. So go in and do that. So let's just quickly have a little jump in and have a look. You've all seen the trailer. I've already got that on the channel. And really in this version, I think what the squad devs have done is they've given us a map and a couple of features to hold us off until the new animation system comes in. Version 10, which I'm going to guess between me and you is going to be about eight weeks away. So um, there is that new map. There is also the ability to be able to lock squads, which I'm not too sure about whether that's a good thing. You're going to get so many two man squads and things like that. But, you know, this is what they want. Fair enough. Uh, we've also got the ability for the riflemen to be able to put down sandbags and you can destroy these with placed weapons. Now, now there is a lot of stuff in here which is kind of like fundamental to the game that are changes that are really not going to be when you jump in you're really not going to notice a huge amount of these such as you know timers have slightly changed uh there's a little bit more ammo on some of the stuff the hesco bags are only destroyable by ieds um and place weapons can now be damaged similar to radios etc etc uh vehicle repair stations are now vulnerable to anti vehicle weaponry, razor wires only used by explosive weapons. So there is quite a few things in here that are not going to be initially... If you haven't played Squad for a long time and you jump in, you're going to think, well, I don't know anything that's different. Apart from the sandbags, I'm really not going to notice anything else in here that's going to be huge, hugely different, such as, you know, ammo crates now cost 200 instead of 300. Um, Hesco bunkers have been reduced by 50 construction points, etc., etc. Slightly lowered recoil. Um... There's, there's now more motorbikes on there that will respawn. Um, when throwing a smoke grenade, there's a tiny delay before it starts emitting smoke. As I've mentioned in my other videos, from being here from day one, it felt like the graphics at one point were amazing. The, the special effects, the lighting, everything was just absolutely bang on. And I, probably due to optimization, because not everybody's got a top rig like most of us, or the hardcore players, shall we say. It just doesn't feel like the same as it used to be. The lighting's definitely stripped back. It's almost like global illumination or ambient occlusion has been reduced. Um, the effects on the explosions and um, smoke grenades, that's completely changed. It used to be... Smoke grenades used to be really, really effective. I just don't think they are now. They're more like signal smoke now. Hey-ho! They obviously couldn't pull it off on the optimization side. Um, so yes, you, you can now lock squads, uh, and it will list spawn points up here as well, so you don't need to click on the actual icons all the time up on the left. So the, this interface has changed slightly, and there also is down here now a stance indicator. Now, as you know, in most of my videos, I get rid of all the hood, don't want it on there, I want the immersive feeling. Um, there's also vehicle indicators with speed, etc., etc., and whether the engine is on or off, which... I don't know whether that's needed, but anyway, it's in there. Um, we have the Nava map, which we've already done a little bit of look at, and they've added in this experimental Mercy Bleed. So on the last flags, additional end match flags have been added to the end of the pass Latis. Not really sure what that means. As you can see, new layouts for the maps, depending on which version we're going to be playing on here, up and round, all over the place, etc., etc., um, also, Albastra has been updated as well slightly. I think some of the flags have also been repositioned uh, for the layout for some of these, and then you can see there. Um, again, whether you're going to notice a huge amount on this is debatable. Um, remove cardinal directions from your vehicle flags. Attacking the flame markers have been removed. Um, let's have a look at the... Fix an issue where the shield on the disc machine guns didn't stop bullets. That's a nice little update. Fix an issue when unarmored vehicles were not behaving as intended. They now offer limited protection against small arms for the driver. And any other pocket clothes within the vehicle, you can still shoot at the infantry in there. All right, so unarmored vehicles now you can now shoot through. I thought the Humvees had small arms protection in real life anyway, so I'm not quite sure what that means. Um... 
fix an issue on Godadoc. Uh, so th that's kind of it, really. It's not a massive update, but we have got a new map. So if you want the ability to be able to jump in, all you need to do is get on Steam, delete your app data, restart Steam again, and it should download, and you should be happy as a mofo to jump in. Again, it's going to be about eight weeks. I'm going to guess before version 10. I will be doing some videos on some other games that are very similar to Squad, which you may have seen me cover a couple of times. Um, but under NDA, I can't say any more than that, but I will be covering more of those than I will be of Squad in the future, that's for sure. But anyway, this has been the new version of version 9.6. <laughs> Go out and get it on Steam and let me know in the comments box below what you think about this update and what you think about the lighting being stripped back and the effects and everything else. But in the meantime, I need to put some sunglasses on because this is blinding me. I've been para players. I shall see you in some version 9.6 footage of Navra, no doubt, in the next video today. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And as always, knock yourself out with some coffee. Ibagum. <laughs>